Gamers, today we have a, a sad video. The fact that I gotta make it is sad, but it is what it is. So, as the video title says, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm gonna try and help you to have less crashes in AoE 4. There's some things that are kind of proven concept that it works. So if you're someone like me who has had a lot of crashes recently, these are the things you can do to not remove all the crashes. I'm sure we're gonna, you know, discover new crashes with the new patches, but they will help you. Now, before getting started, from what I know, the crashes will be fixed soon, right, by, by the devs. But we have had crashes in the past, we have had crashes right now, and we are going to have crashes in the future when some patch drops or something happens. So, uh, this is something that people have tried, and it, it worked in the past, and it worked for a lot of people. Number one, if you don't play the game, you can't crash. I'm joking. Number one. Update your graphics card uh, drivers. For some reason, I don't know why, I know nothing behind how exactly the game is made or, or what's the logistics behind it, but if your graphics card is not updated, you will experience more crashes. I have no fucking clue why. And sometimes, if your graphics card is updated, you will also experience more crashes. But in general, updating or keeping your graphics uh, card drivers up to date will reduce the amount of crashes if you're having them. Number two, if you are playing through Steam, if you're playing through that other thing, I don't know. If you are playing through Steam, what you can do is right click uh, Age of Empires, you go uh, uh, Properties, Installed Files, and you can click Verify the Integrity of Game Files. I, again, I don't know what the fuck this exactly does, but it has helped people in the past and it has helped me in the past. Uh, another obvious one, which is I guess a third one, which should be a second one, you can reinstall your AoE and hopefully that fixes it that way because sometimes, I mean, that works for any game. Now the fourth is the most important one. This is the most important one. For some reason, and I don't know why, again, I don't think anyone knows, the number one thing that will crash your game is mods. The number one thing that will crash your game is mods. Now, I don't know if this is the mods being like corrupted and the mods not working properly, or, or if this is game's fault that the mods are not working properly, but there is some kind of interaction with mods that crashes your game all the time so a um, couple of things number one if you have multiple accounts and you go here and you delete your I'm gonna I'm gonna download a random mod uh, just to show you how to remove it because a lot of people are also removing the mods wrong I mean I was gonna say wrong but it, they're actually not removing them properly I'm gonna show you how to properly remove mods if you have two accounts what sometimes happens is you will remove all the mods in the main account but the second account, you're subscribed to the mods, so it's gonna start re-downloading them, okay? So this is something that you also need to be careful. So what's going to happen is you're logged in. Okay, I need to, re I need to reset the game. So what's going to happen is you're going to be logged in in account number one, okay? You delete all the mods. You log into account number two. The mods will re-download if you're subscribed to the mods on that account. And when you log back to your main account, Sometimes it will re-download the mods again. I have no fucking clue how this works, but this is how it works, all right? So you need to be careful of that. If you delete the mod off of one account, once you log into the second one, delete them off of that account as well. Now, uh, obviously, if you wanna play modded stuff or mods in general, I mean, you're gonna have to have them and you know, it is what it is. But if you're purely playing a ranked play or you're playing against AIs or quick matches or team games, whatever, this will help you, I promise. This is the, the thing that will help you the most. So we're going to wait for this thing to load up. I'm going to download a mode and show you how to delete it. Okay, Poggers, it works now. So I'm going to download uh, uh, EGC map, okay? Okay, I'm subscribed now, it's gonna download. Now, the way you delete mods properly, you go, my mods, so you go, uh, you know, section where the mod is, my mods, 
A lot of people just delete it and that's it. It will re-download the next time you log in. So that does not do it. What you need to do is click the mod, unsubscribe, then you need to disable the mod right here. So it says off and then you delete it. Now the mod is deleted, okay? And once you have no mods, you will have less crashes. Now, another thing I wanna say that uh, this will help you in um, ranked play and team ranked and quick matches so that you don't crash, okay? This is gonna affect you now. If you were to play a custom game, and this is 100% th the way it works because we have played a lot of tournaments and certain players would cause other players to crash. So if you're playing custom games with your friends and let's say you wanna play uh, Dry Arabia, four of you, and you got three Bobs right here, and none of you have mods except Bob right here, he can actually get the game to crash for someone else. Again, I have no idea how the fuck this works, but this is how it works. I've played numerous tournaments where one player would have mods and they would crash games, not for themselves, for other people. So there's some kind of weird fucking interaction with custom games and mods. So if you're playing custom games with people that are not requiring mods, ask them to delete their mods. If you're having crashes, if you're experiencing crashes. Um, again, I don't know why this works this way, but it does work uh, that way. So uh, I'm, I'm sure that we will have a, a, you know, a fix soon coming for these crashes. There's also been crashes on age up. If you've been having crashes on age up, uh, this will not help you. I'm talking about the crashes where you get an error or your game just turns off. If you're having crashes on, on age up, that is something that has nothing to do with this. That is 100% on game side and not mod side. But uh, the reason I wanted to make this video, even though I'm sure we'll have fix soon for these things, is they might happen again in the future. And I feel like it's important to get this out there and hopefully help you guys. I have no idea how this works, but this is how it works. What a sentence. Yeah, because we've played a lot of tournaments where we were crashing a lot. And then once all the players removed all their mods, the games just would not crash anymore. So there it is. Uh, anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, there you go. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you. Uh, I hope that your games don't crash as often as mine did recently. Um, check me out on Twitch. I'm probably crashing right now. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going. Thank you.